Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your boost sensor, your map sensor, and how to clean your throttle body on your Mercedes C250 turbo four cylinder engine. So if you look at the diagram of the engine, there's actually two more sensors that you can replace. I'm not gonna replace it today. I'm gonna save that for another video. But today we're mainly focused on the boost pressure sensor and the map sensor. So in doing this, you can actually fix a rough or high idle. If you're experiencing a decrease in performance or even a check engine light, this can fix your problem. Not to keep you waiting, let's get to it. Since we're gonna be dealing with electrical components, first thing I wanna do is disconnect the battery. Now that the battery's disconnected, let's replace the boost pressure sensor. So let's pull the cover off. And here's the sensor. All you have to do is pull the connector off, take out two screws, and you can easily replace it. Now let's remove the map sensor. It is right there with the little blue sticker on it. To get to it, the first thing we need to do is remove this tube. All you have to do is pull it towards you and lift it up and it pops right off. And then for this piece, just push it in with a screwdriver and it'll pull right off. So there's the sensor. It's actually almost the same exact setup as the boost pressure sensor. Just pull the connector off and take out the two screws and you can swap it right out. Now we can tackle the throttle body, which is right here. First, we need to make some room, so let's pull off this turbo pipe. To pull off the pipe, just push it forward and then loosen up the clip. Once it's loosened, just pull the pipe right off and tuck it aside. Before we remove this black plastic housing, we have to lift up the cable for the map sensor just so there's some slack and then let's take the connector off and pull it right off. So next is the throttle body connector. Just squeeze it and pull it and it should come right off. So the throttle body itself is actually held on by some screws, torque screws that is, and there's four of them, two on the top and two on the bottom. Just remove it with a Torx bit and you should be good to go. So now that the four screws are off, you can easily pull the throttle body right off the engine. With it taken apart, it's good to just go ahead and clean the inside of this tube with a rag. And then also where the throttle body mounts to the engine, you wanna stuff that with a rag to prevent any dirt from going in. So to clean the throttle body, all you need is a can of throttle body cleaner. Make sure you get a throttle body cleaner and spray the area. Also spray some on a clean rag and use that rag to wipe the inside of the throttle body. Carefully push on the valve so you can get into all the little deep crevices of the throttle body. Okay, that's it. It's fully clean, ready to go back on the car. Just don't forget the gasket. So now that everything is reinstalled back on the car, 
when you go to start your car, you don't want to immediately start it. You want to turn it to the on position so that way your ECU can recognize the throttle body and make any necessary adjustments before you start the car. When you go to actually start the car, the car might struggle to start. That is because you just introduce an outside solution to the throttle body, which needs to be burned off. So you might have to crank your car a few times. If it doesn't crank at all, just floor your gas pedal, crank your car to open up the valve and it'll start right up. Just take your feet off the gas, let it idle for a few minutes to burn off all that solution and then you can drive. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, hit like below, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.